Alrighty. Um, rest in peace, Richard. Um, this stuff away. So I think the plan for this Yeah, we need to go check out Okay. So we need the gym. We need this. And I think that's it. Alright, so anyway, welcome back, guys. Um, getting our Resident Evil on today. Um, we're going to hopefully have our first boss fight, if I remember correctly. Um... We're forced to fight. I can't remember what his name's su actually supposed to be, um, but he's the one. Like we read his journal. Um, like he's married to Lisa, or no, Lisa's the daughter. But basically, he dies, right? Um, um, nope, this one. Give me my goodies. Okay. Do I not have a weapon equipped? Hmm. <laughs> so anyway, we're a little bit later into the day now. Um, I had to take a break. Um... As you guys probably know, hopefully you know, I'm working on my master's program, and um, as part of that, I have these um, practicum videos that I have to make, and I had my first conference um, where um, basically I was given feedback on how I did, and it was... Oh, Keeper's Diary, May 9th. Played poker tonight with Scott and Elias from Security and Steve from Research. Steve was the big winner, but I think he was cheating, scumbag. May 10th. One of the higher-ups assigned me to take care of a new creature. It looks like a skinned gorilla. Feeding instructions were to give it live animals. When I threw in a pig, the creature seemed to play with it, tearing off the pig's legs and pulling out the guts before it actually started eating. May 11th, at around 5 a.m., Scott woke me up, scared the shit out of me, too. He was wearing a protective suit. He handed me another one and told me to put it on. Said there'd be an accident in the basement lab. I just knew something like this would happen. Those bastards in research never sleep, even on holiday. May 12th, I've been wearing the damn spacesuit since yesterday. My skin's getting grimy and feels itchy all over. The goddamn dogs have been looking at me funny, so I decided not to feed them today. Screw them. What does that look like? Dogs looked at you funny? May 13th. Went to the infirmary because my back is swollen and feels itchy. They put a big bandage on it and told me I didn't need to wear the suit anymore. All I want to do is sleep. Found another big blister on my foot this morning. I ended up dragging my foot all the way to the dog's pen. They were quiet all day, which is weird. Then I realized some of them had escaped. Maybe this is their way of getting back at me for not feeding them the last three days. If anybody finds out, I'll, I'll have my head handed to me. May 16th. Rumors going around that a researcher who tried to escape the estate last night was shot. My entire body feels hot and itchy, and I'm sweating all the time now. I scratched the swelling on my arm, and a piece of rotten flesh just dropped off. What the hell is happening to me? Dude, you need, like, you need to get out. Fever gone, but itchy. Today, hungry, and eat doggy food. Thinky, thinky, brain hurt. Why say many words when few word work? May 21st, itchy, itchy, Scott. Came ugly face, so killed him. Tasty. Oof, itchy. 
Tasty. Interesting. Make sure we're still recording. We are. Trying to prevent. The oh, shoot. Ah. Uh, fell asleep at the wheel. Anyway, that's fine. I don't want to waste a shotgun shell anyway. Oh my goodness. Okay. The dang camera angle, man. You hit me over and over again. <clears throat> oh, I need to unlock this door in case I have to go through here again. I'm still working. Yeah, yeah. Okay, sorry. I'm just being paranoid. Don't want to have to record stuff over and over again. Or lose footage. That was even worse. Again, I apologize. I'm not sure what happened, but there was like a five minute gap in one of the videos. Um, Alright, so we go like this. And that's the fourth mask. All right, we have a boss fight on our hands. We're only seven minutes in. We'll definitely get it done in this video. Alright, go ahead and grab these. I don't plan to come back this way. They're watching cartoons and dancing. Alright. Um. Oh. Let's go ahead and go back to. Ooh. We'll clear out our inventory. We'll grab the mask. We'll go fight that fight. Yeah, we should be good. Um, um, I think I have shotgun ammo. No? Well, that's a bummer. Um, so I don't know what the crest keys for. Um, hmm. Okay. Yeah, going through that door would be fastest to get to the main hall. Ugh, we have to go back in that room where all those zombies are. But anyway, uh, yes, I know I have two shotguns on me. Um, the other one, the assault shotgun, is more powerful. Or at least I've been told. Um, and so, um, we're gonna use up the last bit of the ammo on the one I'm using, and then we'll switch over to the other one. <sighs> so, I know the, um, the controls and stuff, if you've ever played this, the controls are pretty wonky, but, like, there's been a 
good number of jump scares, for me at least. And like, I've played this game into the ground, and it still gets me. Um, but I think a big part of it is the camera angles. And like, that's part of what makes um, the controls so weird. Um, it's like when you change camera angles, you have to change the direction that you're walking. And, um, but it's also because of the camera angles that you get some of those really good jump scares. Never in my life would I willingly go into a crypt. It's just not gonna happen. Ever, ever, ever. And then the minute a coffin starts jiggling, I'm out. I think that one, no eyes and no mouth. Yep, I like, I would. Peace. I am out. Um, no nose. Yeah, it's definitely the no nose one. Oh, that was. The douche. And then that's a scientist who got a shot and killed. I remember that boss fight being harder. That was what, like five shots? I'm playing on hard, I promise. <sighs> I don't know. Granted, that's just like a mini boss. That wasn't like a. Um, okay, we got a red door there. Red door there. They'll need a helmet key. Okay. Let's go check out these doors, I guess. Oh, so yeah. So anyway, I was doing that uh, uh, practicum video, and I had the conference to follow up about it. And, uh, man... Like, I'm, I'm taking this program seriously, right? I want, like, I've been getting straight A's in all my classes, putting in the work, learning a lot, which is nice. Um, yep, 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 nope. Uh, actually. Yeah, we'll take it. Um learning a lot but in that first video so Schaefer and I stayed after school to record it and uh oh my goodness you're gonna get up no I really thought you were gonna get up
but um, that was just lucky. I, I had no idea what that, I didn't know what that key was for. Um, so anyway, yeah, so we're recording this video, right? And we're, it has to be at least 45 minutes long. We're doing our thing. Um, we get it done only for me to get to the end and realize the camera wasn't on. So like you can hear us talking. I was definitely trying to pick that stuff up. Uh, you can hear us talking. You can, I had a, like a presentation thing up on the screen. Um, and as far as like the conversation, like I thought it went really well. And uh, we, like, we were, you know, moving through our agenda um, and it was a pretty well put together, um, you know, thing. And the dang camera wasn't on. So I got a 12 out of 35 points on it. And that was because she was being nice. There's a switch here, press it. Okay, well clearly not west. East. Yeah, I think you want the dog not looking at us, right? Because, so the mythology there, that's Cerberus, who is um, Hades, in Greek mythology, um, Hades is guard dog, and Hades is like the god of the underworld. And so the idea of the dog is that it keeps a watch on souls trying to escape from, from the afterlife, basically. Uh, because it's Greek mythology, they don't really have like a heaven and a hell, it's just life after death. Um, okay, so if... No. Okay, so it's... Then do I want it? I think I want it facing... There we go. Yeah, okay. Couldn't remember the puzzle. But yeah, you don't want the dog staring at you because then the dog will attack, right? And that, that would be bad. What is this? There's something written in... Oh, okay, so that's gonna be the wind coin. What's this? There's something carved in there. Two vertical lines. Okay. Well, that's the wind coin, right? That thing that we were like, I've had it forever now and I don't know what it do. I'm gonna assume it goes in there. And so hopefully there's a box or something wherever we're going. We hit a 10 minute mark there. They see me running. Is there anything like in this area that I'm supposed to grab? No, it's all green. Okay. Oh yeah, at least this is cabin. I remember this part. I mean, parts of it. Um. Oh, that looks like a map. Yeah, typewriter and item box. 
Okay, where's the item box? Am I blind? Oh. Alright, well, very cool. Um, alright, we're done with this gun. And we're gonna... Put that away. And we're gonna try to use the handgun a little bit. And uh, we're actually going to call it an episode there. I'm going to save, so I'll be honest, I don't really know what happens here. Um, and I just want you guys to know, no, I have not died yet. Ooh, family photo. Um, this, there's a journal left by someone. 19, daddy, attached first, mm, attached second. In, ooh. Don't know, Dad. Found mom again. Uh, somebody, somebody missed uh, missed too much school there. I think. Uh, anyway, we're gonna save it there. Um, call it an episode. Uh, no, I haven't died yet. If I do, I'll have it on the screen uh, for you guys to see it, and th then we can laugh about it. Um, hasn't happened yet, and hopefully, it doesn't happen. So anyway, that's going to be an episode. See you all next time.